as we've been talking about, is the first day of spring, which means many of you might be gearing up for your annual spring cleaning. Right now, Laura McDonald gets us tips from Spotless Shine Cleaning to help make your spring chores a breeze. Laura? Hey guys, good morning. It is the first day of spring. I am so excited, but that means it is time for you to start cleaning your houses. One of the biggest tasks and biggest troubles that I find when I clean is cleaning your windows from the inside because you know what? You, you do all this reaching and cleaning. You're putting all this elbow grease into it, but then how do you get rid of the streaks? Well, here to tell us that this morning is Angel from Spotless Shine Cleaning. And uh, Angel, you are a pro when it comes to cleaning windows from the inside. Well, for the window, we use Windex, regular old Windex, and we use paper towels. Um, I got some employees that do use towels, if they would like. Mm -hmm. But other than that, we do use Windex, and when we um, use Windex and paper towels, we usually do a circular motion. Right. Like this, just to get all the streaks off of it, and it's always better to to do it when it's a cloudy day instead of a sunny day because the streaks, you'll see the more, you'll see the streaks more and be able to get them out. Right. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. So can we demonstrate now? Yes. All right. So you're going to show us. And you know what I've also heard is newspaper yes, is a good news, thing to newspaper use. Newspaper is perfect, but we don't use it. But if you can't get your streaks out, newspaper definitely will get it out. It'll get it out for you yes. on mirrors too, right? Yes, correct. And then just circle The circle motions. motions. Yeah. And it doesn't even look like you're pressing that hard. Nope. It's just the technique that you're using. Yep, and you just go all the way up until you get all the way to the bottom. Mm -hmm. You might want to spray some more, but I'm just going right. to show you what. No streaks here, though. Nope, no this streaks at all. This lady knows what she is doing. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for showing that. Now I know how to do it, and right. hopefully you guys do at home. And good luck with all of your spring cleaning. We have more tips for you all morning long. Back to you. Thanks so much. I dread it, right? Every year it has to be done, though. <laughs> the I windows know. are the, the house, worst. The garage, mm. everything has yeah. to be, yeah. Your honeydew list, yeah. it's growing. <laughs> It is, it is 728. The start of a new season is the perfect time to declutter and deep clean your home. Well, today is the start of spring, so perfect time. And as Lauren McDonald hangs out with <laughs> Spotless Shine Cleaning to learn some secrets now which could help you. Lauren? Hey guys, good morning. First day of spring, that means it is time to get out your cleaning supplies and start cleaning your house. The first thing you need to do though is declutter Angel here. She is an expert from Spotless Shine Cleaning and she is helping us do that this morning. Now Angel, everybody has a junk drawer, junk room, somewhere they just put all their stuff. Yes, yes. And you got to just kind of eliminate that. All right. Um, I mean, I guess when you walk in the room, what you need to do when you see a clutter area in your house, you need to look around and be like, where should I put this? Where does this need to go? Because everything collects dust. Right. Everything collects dust. So you just got to so, get rid of it. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes, if you don't need it, get rid of it. Exactly. Now we're going to go take a look at a closet, and that's where I have issues because I hold on to clothes. Yes, Because me I too. like them. You know, me you too. spend money on clothes. You don't want to part with them. <laughs> me too. All right. <clears throat> so, you have kind of three steps for getting rid of clothing. Yes. Um, first of all, you want to look through it. First of all, if it's been six months to a year, it needs to go. Exactly. If you can't fit it no more, it needs to go. You're not going to wear um, it. Either give it away or throw it away. I mean, there might be some ripped clothes you, or some tight clothes that you can't fit anymore. <laughs> Get rid of it. It's exactly. time to let it go because you're just <laughs> making your house even more junkier, should I say, or cluttered. Yes. But yeah, I mean, Gotta there's no reason to keep it part around. Part with it. Yes. Part with you it. Give it away. I'm sure somebody can fit it somewhere. Right. Now, do you think color coordinating is good? Yeah, I usually do that. It just depends. Like, I, I'd rather have pants. Like, say I have pants on this whole side right here, and then uh -huh. I have shirts over here. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I do that. And then dresses on one side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, and I've then heard certain colors. I've heard people, they really just, they do a big giveaway, and they and they just kind of get rid of everything that they, they don't use. And, yeah. and, it's, and I, they're happier. Yeah, I do that a lot. Yes. I got a problem with doing that. Yeah. Kids clothes and all. But, yeah. yeah. But you know what? It's less clutter. It's collecting less dust. And in the long run, you're, it's going to make cleaning your house for spring cleaning a lot easier. Yes, definitely. All definitely. Right. Well, Angel, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We've enjoyed all your tips. And guys, I hope you take these and use them at home because it is that time to clean your houses for spring. Back to you. I feel bad for Angel. Is that Lauren's house or whose house is that? <laughs> She's a lot of work ahead of her. There's a lot of work ahead. I hate the um, cleaning the blinds. That's oh. the thing I... 
and the ceiling fans. The oh, I know, yeah. I know. Got to be done, though. Yeah. Got to start planning. Well, it's time to roll up those sleeves, get your mop and bucket, and start scrubbing for spring. It's the first official day of spring, which means that spring cleaning is no doubt on your list of <laughs> things to do. And right now, Laura McDonald gets us more tips from Spotless Shine Cleaning to help make sure your chores go as smooth as possible. Lauren? Hey guys, good morning. Spring cleaning season is here and that means it is time to address the fridge, the oven, everything in the kitchen. That's another hard thing because you know what? I feel like the self cleaner angel, I don't know about you, but it doesn't work that great. No, it doesn't work at all. Yeah. I don't think it works at all, but a lot of people like love using it so they don't have to bend down and clean and everything. But what we do at Spotless Shine, um, we would use oven cleaner with no fume because the fume is really terrible. Like you have to go outside or something because you don't want to smell it. We usually wear a face mask if we do use the fume. Um, but what we do with the oven is <clears throat> we take these out first. Mm -hmm. And we take all of them out. Okay. And then um, we will take these off, the knobs off, and we will spray the top of this. Uh huh. We'll spray it all down. And then we'll lift this up. Oh, wow. That actually comes up. Yes. And then we'll, we'll spray this all down right here. Mm hmm. And then we'll pull these out. Yep. Oops. And just set them to the side. Mm hmm And then we'll spray all over the oven. Right. All on the door. And if you want, this, this top part does come off, but you have to unscrew it. Okay. You have to unscrew it in certain spots, and then that'll make you, you'll be able to get inside the middle. The glass. Yes, inside the middle of the glass. Because I've always wondered, you wipe yes. it down, you're like, what the heck? Yeah, a lot, of people a lot of people don't do that, but if you want it clean and not worry about it, compl or stains coming up on it, right. you just got to unscrew those, uh -huh. wipe in the middle of it, and right. then screw it back down, and you're done. And then you're done. Good yeah. to go. So, but when I, well, after I spray this down, I usually close it up. Mm -hmm. I'll leave it here. Let it sit and let for it a sit while. for like 20 minutes, uh -huh. and then I'll go to the refrigerator. Right. So on the refrigerator, <clears throat> we usually look at everything that's old, expired, toss it out. Right. And then to clean it, we we'll, we'll usually take everything out because you don't want to clean that. Not, you don't want to clean the refrigerator with stuff in or spray anything with stuff Food in the refrigerator. In. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So we usually wipe, take the drawers out, take all the little shelves out and let them on the counter and then wash them out in the sink or whatever or wherever you're at. Right. And then we'll just spray the refrigerator down and then the freezer the same way but I usually unplug it from the back of the um, refrigerator so right. you won't get no drips of water and all the other stuff. Right. An interesting thing we were talking earlier, uh, I was looking some stuff up. The doors le least cold so that's where all the condiments and stuff like that go. Yes. Middle is the most cold so that's where the most perishable food should go. Yes. And then the bottom drawer is all your fruits, fruits and, veggies. and vegetables. Yes. Yeah. Very yes. good. All right. Well you were giving us all kinds of tips this morning. Thank you so much for being here. We still have more spring cleaning tips for you guys this morning. Back to you. Getting me in the mood, right? I think Angel's trending right now. <laughs> I think so. We love Angel. <laughs> yes. Lauren, thank you. It is now.